The next tab in the spreadsheet that we're going to cover is the customer in DC worksheet. But what you'll notice is that rows E, F, and G in the spec sheet, so product description, units per case, unit net weight, trickle through to the customer and DC worksheet into columns NOP, so product units per case, unit net weight here in the distributor channel specific pricing section. So this sheet is really meant to help you organize your customers, distribution warehouses and sales channels. In this first section here, you can list who your customers are. This could be distributors, retailers, or if you're selling directly through your site, you could log that. Uh, in this case, we're calling it direct internet. And then these columns are for payment terms. So in this example, UNFI normally pays in 30 days. And if they pay, say in 10 days, they take 1% off the invoice. In this next set of fields are distribution center specifics. So you may have general pricing or even distributor specific pricing. In either case, you can log that here. You can log the freight type and any fees associated with that. And in the event that you have unique pricing structure related to a specific channel. So in this case, let's say it's Costco. You can simply type that in here. Your information, your product information is already logged here. You'll have to add in per case and then the pricing. And that will automatically trigger a dropdown for you in this use distributor or channel specific pricing section in the DC specifics. So as, uh, as I mentioned, this is really to help you kind of organize the universe of, of customers and the various pricing structures associated with them. And what this will actually do is trickle some information to the what sells where spreadsheet, which we'll cover in a later video.